Hey everyone, thanks for watching my new channel that's dedicated to collectibles, from sports cards to action figures. Today I have some 1933 Gaudi Babe Ruth cards. When you look at these, it's hard to tell that these are low grade. They look almost mid grade. When you look at these, it's hard to tell that these are low grade. They look almost mid grade. And when I bought these, I looked for centered and nice color. And what brought these down grade is a little bit of creasing on some of them and slightly soft corners. Otherwise, they look really nice for the grade. This has to be the nicest 1.5 Gaudi Ruth I've ever seen. I mean, if you look at the yellow, it really stands out. It pops out at you. Um, there's no dirt on it or oils that I can see. It's well centered. Nice corners, but what brought this down is some creasing on the front and back that it's really hard to tell just looking at it. You have to really look hard in the light. The back also looks really clean. Uh, you can see all the writing on there, but you can see that crease on the bottom uh, middle of the card there, low middle. And then the top too, there's a little bit of uh, roughage to the top there, but otherwise front and back looks real nice to me. Next is a card number 144, Babe Ruth Gowdy, PSA 3. Uh, this one you can see is really well centered. And the thing I like best about this is the color. Um, you can see his face really well. It wasn't blurry. Uh, the background colors, the grass looks really nice too. Here's an up close shot of it. Um, and as you can see, a yeah, really nice centering. There's some dings to the corner, which you would expect in a VG3. Um, but the color in that is outstanding. It looks great for a three. Really this color you'd see more at like a usually a five or a six or higher. Again, the back looks really clean on this. Uh, there's a little ding on the upper right hand corner and then a slight wrinkle or crease, I guess you could say on the bottom left. Uh, but for a three, I think this looks great. Next is the 33 Gaudi card number 181. Uh, it's given a PSA VGX4. This card I would have liked to have been centered a little bit better, but not too bad. Uh, at least three of the sides are centered. Just that right side is a little bit off compared to the rest. But what I really liked about this card is the color. Uh, the background, again, is really clean and crisp. Uh, no dirt or oil marks from the hands. Uh, his face really pops out. So overall, a really nice card. Corners aren't too bad on this. Um, deserving of the grade. I mean, most fours would have corners like that um, but again if you see that close-up of the the background and the color it's really nice here's the back of the card uh, no wrinkles or creases that I can see on there um, you can read all the words on there which is a good thing uh, no paper loss smearing or anything like that overall a nice clean front and back to this card next I have a 1933 Gaudi card number 149 Babe Ruth. This has a, a grade of PSA 2. Again, this is really nice for the grade just like the others. Um, corners look really nice for a 2. Um, it almost has like, I'd say four, four and a half corners at least. Um, well centered, nice red background. Everything's really clean on this card. I was just looking at this closely and I don't even see any creases at all so you're probably wondering how did it get a two it looks pretty good uh, if you see right above the g uh, and the a towards the bottom there's a tiny bit of tape on there just a tiny tiny bit uh, no paper loss from it at all it's been kept on there usually with twos you'd see a big crease through it or you know something would stick out and kind of take away from the eye appeal but uh, really nothing on this card takes away from the eye appeal as you can see, the back looks really clean too. You can see all the words and writing on there, no paper loss. This is definitely really nice for the grade. If it wasn't for that piece of tape on there, I mean, this looks like it could have easily gotten a nice three and a half or a four even. So when you're collecting these or any card, my recommendation is to search hard and look hard for the nicest card you can find for the grade. Just because it's low grade doesn't mean you have to settle. You can get a really nice looking card um, that's low grade if you look hard enough. And these will go for more money than the others at this grade just because of how nice they look for the grade. But it's definitely worth the money and the investment. I hope you guys like my video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Also stick around for more collectible videos to come.